I think that game last night was very significant. I, I think it raises all kinds of questions about LeBron James and what he has taken on in leaving Miami okay. and going to try to redo this thing in Cleveland and take all the responsibility on himself. He wants to be the general manager. He orchestrated the Kevin Love and Andrew Wiggins not being there. Uh, he's wanted to be a global icon, an activist. He wants to make movies. This isn't me criticizing LeBron. This is just pointing out all that he's taken on. And I look at Steph Curry, and all he's taking on right now is I want to be the best basketball player, and I want to win championships. And he's got a much more singular focus. And I look at Golden State and Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I think, last night settled, you know, I am the best basketball player right now on the planet. So we can, can we officially say that now? Oh, I, I think without question. And look, it could change. We got several months until we get to June and things could change. But right now, today, I don't think there's any question. Steph Curry is the best. And I think people are going to start. If LeBron James ends his career with just two championships or even just three, I think people are going to look back in retrospect and say, you know what, he tried to do too much. You know, I think three gets him off the hook. I, I really do. Bird won three. And and he will have played the second half of his career against the Warriors. I think it's a very interesting debate. You know, you just made me think of something. You've done, you do this to me about every other time you're on. I'm like, I wish I was a columnist. <laughs> but it's it's very interesting that we, generally speaking, there's a best player in the NBA. He plays for 15 years, but at year nine, somebody's better, and we struggle. And I'm a LeBron guy. But when you said that, is Steph Curry now the best player in the year considering the new league and the impact of the three ball? I think he is now. You just made me think of this. Today, he is the most significantly impactful player in the league. LeBron is not. And keep in mind what LeBron's expectations were, what our expectations for LeBron were. He was going to challenge Michael Jordan as the greatest of all time. Yeah. If we go back and look at uh, Michael Jordan's year nine, there was no one. At year nine, Michael was coming fully into his own as the dominant premier player in the league. I, I think some of this has to do with when you – these guys that come straight out of high school, they peak – at an earlier age, at, you know, their age 30, age 31 is different than Michael Jordan's age 30, 31, who spent three years in college basketball. So I, I think, I look at LeBron, I think he's he's a bit worn out from playing too much and from taking on too much responsibility, too much of a burden. I, I don't, I, I can guarantee you Pat Riley sitting back smiling today saying, see, you didn't know how good you had it when I was here to help carry some of that load, when Dwayne was here to help carry some of that load. 